All too often the criminals we report on are just children, teenagers. Many times those kids are sent to jail or prison, but one program offers another option. And as Jackie Kucher reports, it appears to be working. I get to see the tre trees bloom and just miss it a lot. A simple breath of fresh air is a real treat for Dorian Barnhart these days. Feel the warmth, which feels good. Smell the fresh air. It's amazing. A judge convicted the 18-year-old of aggravated robbery in January. He's got just the essentials inside the Montgomery County Juvenile Detention Facility. Sink, your toilet, your bed it has to be made this certain way. He's in a program called J-Care, a residential treatment program. The alternative, juvenile prison. And Dorian says he knows he's lucky he didn't end up there. Basically, beat the kid up and took his stuff because he robbed my friend, so kind of revenge thing. Dorian says he was angry, and he's learned to get that under control here. We do anger management groups, and that helps me out a lot. Shows me how to control my anger, how to not to react in a violent way when I get out. J-Care is part of a Department of Youth Services program called Reclaim. Instead of going to prison, the focus is on rehabilitation instead of punishment. A recent University of Cincinnati study found that kids participating in these programs are less likely to commit another crime. All these kids generally are coming back into our community. So the more we do to rehabilitate them, the better off we are. If we can keep them local, we can interact with them and interact with the family then we have a much better chance. So. A huge component to this program is getting the family involved. They can come through these doors as much as three times a week, and Dorian has had a lot of support. I just get happy, ready, ready just to just get out and make them proud. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? Good. Angela Barnhart is Dorian's mom. She's had some health issues, but comes as often as she can. I get anxiety every time, just waiting, butterflies. Each visit lasts about an hour. Love you. Love you too. They catch up on the family, her health, his schoolwork, the important stuff. How are you? It seems funny that it's in this place that I've been the most proud of him, but I've watched him change. His, his anger has went away. He's even being in this place, he's happier with his self than I've ever seen him. Seeing mom just reinforces everything Dorian is working towards. I just want to be a good citizen, really just help out whenever I can. I don't, I don't want to be looked at as a criminal in my life. While focusing on what lies ahead for now, he'll take in all the fresh air he can get. Jackie Kucher, Fox 45 News. And Dorian will walk out a mostly free man on Monday. He'll be on probation for the next three months and starts a new job as a cook in a local restaurant.